Place. Welcome to the Butler Research Center. We use this area here to house a bit of a historical perspective of the innovations of the company throughout the years. When we built our addition out here, we actually instrumented this roof. So this is real time. This is happening right now. Outside, it is 40.351 degrees. The roof surface about 55 degrees. Inside the envelope, these are the temperatures here. Temperature up near the liner panel underneath. And this one is actually measuring the change in length of that exterior panel. Your roof has to be able to accommodate that movement. And so all of our details, faster connections and so on are all designed to accommodate that expansion and contraction movement due to the temperature changes. And this is another little demonstration of the uh, effect of the sun on the roof. Under this particular light source, we have the original Hunter Green panel and a modified panel called Solar Green. The Hunter Green panel is 148 degrees, and this box product is 132 degrees. So we have a 16 degree temperature difference just by changing the pigments in the paint. So now we're out in our shop. This is an area we use for training purposes. We also do small scale mock-ups. We have the same thing for the wall systems here. We also use this for some of the product mock-up work. The engineers and technicians, they come out here and they actually make their own parts, put them together and try it out. This is the environmental test area. Here's the guarded hot box today. This one's 15 foot square, and the sample inside of there is actually eight foot wide by 10 foot high. This whole unit will tilt horizontal for roof system testing, and inside of that system we'll have, uh, again, the samples of the panel. So the owner can get a more cost-effective solution. The heating and air conditioning contractors have a much more confidence in those test results, and our builders can show compliance to the various energy codes using our proprietary designs. Here we have our structural test bay and also our product mock-up area. Buried in the floor out here is a W36 by 300. That's a steel beam that's three feet deep, weighs 300 pounds per lineal foot. On top of that, we're able to assemble a small building up really up about 60 foot wide and 16 foot high, pull down on it with hydraulic cylinders to simulate snow or push on it to simulate wind and take that whole thing to failure. Today, most of that work is designed to uh, predict the performance or validate the performance of computer models. We also then use this area for mock-ups. These wooden boxes over here are the next test being prepared in order to go into the guarded hot box that we just showed you. This is where we do full-scale uplift testing. We're able to pressurize it to simulate wind uplift or evacuate it to simulate snow load and get our load span characteristics. This is our fab shop. We got a brake press, a shear, uh, a milling operation saw they can come out and make up their own prototype parts uh, for all their mock-ups. They learn a lot that way. This uh, is also our first installation of our daylighting system. And you can kind of see up here, no lights on right now, and uh, pretty good daylight, pretty good lighting inside of this building. Well, that takes care of all of our product testing. So anything that we are able to produce in our plant, we'll pretty much be able to test over here. Next, we're going to go over to another little building for materials testing. So anything that goes into the product, the steel itself, the fasteners, mastic, sealants, and paints, we're going to test over here. Welcome to the Butler Test Lab. In this area is where we check self joining screws. In this area is where I check the screw bolts. In this area is where you get into the sealant testing. The butyl rubber is a petroleum product. In order to get a cheaper sealant, or comp competition will use sealant where they've taken the butyl out, and you end up with a sealant that will expand once, and that's about it. Back here in the corner, I have two stainless steel cabinets called Ketchiness cabinets. The big cabinet back here is salt spray. This is a dew cycle weatherometer. Here we have the humidity cabinet. Have uh, ovens for drying paint. Also back here have a spray booth. This is an impact adhesion test. Uh, this is a demonstration of something with metamerism or is metameric. This is the outdoor weathering test lab. 
Now that concludes our tour. I hope you now appreciate all the thoughts, the design, and details that go into our product.